Hi, Steve Keller here with ProMedia Productions. We're excited about the new Cine Drive system from Kessler. Let me go over the components so you can understand how it all works. First part of the component is the brain itself, the Cine Drive brain, and that is the device that talks to all the rest of the motion control system. The iPad is wirelessly connected via Wi Fi to that, so we can have this iPad anywhere and be controlling that. Let's go over some of the other components of the system. This is on a shuttle pod, which allows us to move the, the, the pod anywhere from four feet all the way up to 36 feet of track right now. Uh, the other parts of it is the pan and the tilt. We also have zoomer focus and the, the motion control, so it's a four axis system right now. So let's go over all the different components. The first thing is we have to make sure that we're on the Wi-Fi network, which is called Cine Drive. And now we can go ahead and launch the app. So we will go over here to the Kessler KOS and launch it. Um, it'll initially talk to it, and we know right now we're online. So now we're ready to go ahead and start all the different pieces that we need to do. The first thing we need to do is we need to set the limits, uh, the furthest left, the furthest right, the pan, the tilt, all the different limits. So let's go ahead and we'll bring the slider over here to the left and that's going to be our extreme limit to the left so we go ahead and we push the mark at the beginning and we're going to bring it over here and that's going to be our extreme right so we'll mark the end now that was for the slider now let's go ahead and adjust the pan and that's going to be the extreme then that side and then we'll bring it all the way around here. And that's going to be the extreme on that side. Tilt. We'll go up as far as we want to go. Mark that. And then down as far as we want to go and mark that. Now we're ready for focus. And on focus here, we'll run it over here and mark the beginning of the focus see the lens moving there and that's going to be our end. So now we have our calibration done. We're ready to go ahead now and set up our keyframes. So let's first take, this is your timeline here. This is, uh, right now it's set up from 0 seconds to 10 seconds, that's all adjustable. But let's just start over here at the beginning on the left and let's take the slider and let's just say we want to start with the slider all the way over here and then we want to take the pan say and we're going to move the pan all the way around to there the tilt we're going to want to say start level and the focus and the focus nail the focus there all right so now our first this is our first shot that we want to get we're ready to go we go right here to record the keyframe so now it's set up all those different components so now we're ready for our next shot and we're going to want to hit that one right at five seconds. So we've got the timeline set to five. We go over to the slider and bring it over. And that's our spot we want to be in five seconds. Pan-wise, we need to bring it around here to this point. And tilt-wise, we need to bring it up. And focus. Tweak the focus perfect there. And we've got everything set. Record another keyframe. So now it's already put in our whole path here. And we're ready for our third point. So let's go up here to 10 seconds. And we'll go with the slider then. This is our final move. And that's right there. Pan-wise, we're back to this point. And tilt-wise, we want to bring that down. Focus. Okay, we've got those set. We go ahead and record that. So now here are our paths for everything. We can go in there and individually click on these and move them around. We can bring up um, little um, arms and change the bezonet curve of it to slowly speed up and slow down or, or be a little harsher on the move. But we're ready to go. So we're ready to program it and run our program. Here we go. Kind of pause there. So the program was set like that, but we could we could make it continuously go. So there's our shot. So now we say, you know what, that was nice 10 seconds, but 
really like to change that run time. Let's bring that thing down to eight seconds instead. And let's just play it again. It'll head on back. It'll recalculate out the move. And here it goes. Eight seconds instead of 10 seconds. It was that fast to change that program or reprogram it with all the exact same moves hitting all of our focus spots. We're really excited about this new Cine Drive system. We got one of the first 25 in the world. And uh, let me show you some examples of some things that we've used it for lately.